first, we want to welcome Kent Olberg and Matthew Thornton to our studios. And we are very proud to have you once again in our studios, Mr. Olberg. And of course, uh, being the artist that you are, and Matthew, and you're involved in, in filmmaking and whatnot, now you're working on something with Kent Olberg. It's called Wind in the Sails. That's right. Expand a little bit. Well, um, about a year ago, uh, we met up for dinner at Snoopy's out on the island, and we kind of jokingly said, you know, uh, I mean, I've known Kent my whole life, and, and of course I've known his work, and we were talking about it, and I got to thinking, people my age, you know, I'm 43, and uh, as, I, as I asked around, everybody knew the work. They all knew Wind in the Sails. They all knew Surfing Jesus. They yes. all knew the buy. They knew all the work. But they didn't know who did it, and they didn't know he lived right there on the island. And I thought, well, maybe there's something here. This, this is kind of interesting because I think they should know. They, we, all, we all are proud of where we grew up, and it's been such a big part of our lives to be able to say, oh, if you went past the sailfish, you went too far kind of thing. They should know, they should know who it, and so that's essentially what started it, yeah. Wow. Well, Mr. Ulberg, uh, how do you feel about this this particular work and focusing on you and and pretty much opening the door to the world to expose your work to the world? Well, I'm I'm really honored. First of all, to work with friends, old friends, and and my friend's son, who is brilliant. He's a great movie maker. He's won awards for his movies and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> I'm really honored. And of course. It'll help get my work out there. I mean, when I do a public monument, I've done over a hundred of them, you know, in in all over the world. But uh, and about thirty in this area, I think, you know. But uh, then, then you have a quick publicity, you know, like in the paper. Oh, they put this up, and that's it. But nobody really talks about you otherwise, you know. That so, I'm honored. Maybe I might get famous. <laughs> more famous more come famous, on now. More famous, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty high pedestal there yeah. so <laughs> you can look down on the rest of us there but that's <laughs> that's true <laughs> but this this particular project how long has it been in the making well it, it's like i said we did a podcast together about a year ago almost to, to it was november 7th i mm -hmm. think last year and uh, it's evolved immensely since then. And of course, Rockport Center for the Arts and Luis Perón, we, we probably wouldn't be sitting here without him either. Mm -hmm. He's we, big, big thank you to them. They've been such great supporters of not only Kent's work, but also of the film and the idea of us yeah. putting it together. Um, yeah, so, so it's been about a year. So what is, what is uh, uh, what are we, what are we looking at, at, at a feature that, that's going to come out and say, here it is, Mr. Ulberg, win in the sales. You mean win? Yes. Uh, I, the goal, we're going to put up several cuts together, and of course we'll be working on it um, pretty much steadily throughout the course of the beginning of 2024. The goal is to have a uh, public screening, public, private, however you want to put it, it's, but show it to people and have a finished cut by uh, fall of 2024. Wow. Yeah. Will you be entering the uh, the final product in, in, in various uh, uh, film festivals or uh, as, as, as yeah. it makes its way? Well, that'll be so. We'll, we'll probably do some screenings here in South Texas first, and we'll call them private screenings because we want to be able to showcase. We want the people who love Kent's stuff to be able to see it first. So we're going to show it to everybody here first, and then we'll put it on the festival circuit and then eventually distribute it. Yeah. So Kent, are you uh, are you ready for a red carpet season down the line here for for when when they premiere your 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 documentary here? Well, I guess I better <laughs> fix myself up, <laughs> put on better clothes, and learn to smile. Yeah. Oh, that's not, we we did we've done some scenes where I was like, we're just you tell me this, and of course he's a great storyteller. But but one time we were doing one, I said, well, I don't need you to do anything for this, just uh, just you know fiddle or whatever and, and he goes so I start acting when do I start acting you know <laughs> he knows he knows the whole world is a stage that's what mm -hmm. Shakespeare said we're oh, just yes, we're all just actors that's right. in it that's, that's right <laughs> so very good so uh what is, is is there an obstacle along the way to make getting this completed in a specific amount of time money oh <laughs> uh yeah, it is always money with movies it's I suppose with anything it's always that but 
Um, other than that, I, I mean, there hasn't been too many because I, I live close by and, you know, we've been able to coordinate, thankfully. And, um, you know, I, I would, I guess, I don't know, has there been any obstacles for you? No, not really. But um, I want to say is he's traveled all over the U.S. taking uh. pictures of my work. I mean, you weren't just sitting here. and That's right. You yeah. know, you, you've been all <laughs> over. <laughs> no, I have, but it's been great because I've... From the uh, East Coast, you know, to Omaha, to everywhere. You know? Well, let me ask you this. If, uh, on your travels, uh, have people reacted to Kent Olberg's work the way we do here? Oh, yes. I would <laughs> say that especially the places, like, I'll give you an example, funny story in Omaha. I, uh, I had no attachment to anybody out there, and I hadn't contacted them before, so I just went. And it takes up how many square blocks? Your work five. five square blocks in downtown Omaha, and I, I went right out and decided I would just fly the drone. I thought I'll fly the drone around his geese, his giant Canadian geese. And my dad and I are just sitting there, and I'm flying the drone. And somebody come out and said, "No, no, no, you can't. You, can't, you that's illegal. You can't do that. This is private property." I said, "Well, uh, I am making a movie about the artist." They said, "Olberg, come inside." <laughs> they took me inside and took me up 40 floors, I think, up to the top. And Brenda Dooley, yeah, she goes, you know Kent? And I said, yeah. She goes, well, I, I what, what was her role in the project? Uh, she was a ma manager. You know, she was, she was right-hand lady for, for the owner of the bank and everything that sponsored it. Uh, you know, and, uh, and she was great to work with. I really hit it off with her very well. She was a great lady. Yeah. So she gave yeah. me permission to fly the drone, but then she also gave an interview. And so, yeah, to, to answer your question, they people respond very well to his That's stuff. That's great. Yeah. That is that is so great. And it's called Olberg Wind in the Sail. That's it. And we're hoping to see it sometime in 2024. Yep. And, and, and I'm sure we'll be getting a phone call when it's ready to go. You better believe it. All yeah. right. All right. Well, thank you. Gentlemen, uh, Matthew Thornton, Kent Olberg, thank you for stopping by. Wind in the Sails. Olberg, Wind in the Sails is the documentary, the feature that you're working on, and we're looking forward to it in 2024. Can't wait, and I'm sure a lot of people can't wait either. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you all. You.